The other form of movement that we deal with when we're dealing with scratch is absolute movement. And absolute movement it asks the sprite or the actors to move to a location regardless of where they are right now. And you say, absolutely, I want you to move to this point. To really get understand absolute uh, movement, we have to understand a little bit more about the underlying coordinate system that is in here. We haven't talked yet really about the fact that there's a coordinate system in here. And so um, I can just show you quickly, here's a coordinate system. I'll show you later how you can actually bring this background up yourself. But here's, an app, here's a coordinate system that shows us what's going on here. You'll notice that at the very beginning, the center of the stage is 0, 0. And we have a standard x, y coordinate system. Uh, we have a graphing from x goes from negative 240 to positive 240. So we're basically 480 pixels across and 360 pixels up and down. Right? y goes from 180 at the top to negative 180 at the bottom. And in fact, you may be, some of you may have noticed when you're playing with Scratch or as you're watching the videos, if you notice right now where my cursor is, right, I can put my cursor right here at basically the 100, 100 point, and you may notice right now that right below the stage, there's actually a display of where my cursor is, right? Right here is a display of where my cursor is. And so if I'm trying to find, well, what is the upper right-hand corner? Well, it's approximately 193 for X and 145 for Y. Right? And so some of you who teach lower or upper elementary may say, oh, I'm not sure I can do this with my kids. They won't understand that coordinate system. My experience actually with, with working with fourth, fifth, sixth graders is even without a solid grasp of, of negative numbers and graphing in a, in a two-dimensional coordinate system like this, they get the basic understandings really quickly, right? They, they, they understand that I can, you know, if I know I want to go here, I can just look at my cursor and say, oh, that's 148, 112, okay. Well, then let's, you know, go to 148 and 112. And so I can use that absolute motion and just say, jump to that location. There's also a secondary thing that really comes with absolute. Normally when we're talking about absolute, we're only talking about the underlying coordinate system. And again, we've talked about that this is this standard 480 by 360 stage. Uh, by the way, I should mention that's unchangeable with Scratch. You are unable to change the overall dimensions of a stage. It always has that dimension. Uh, there are some things you'll see me do later on that make the stage appear bigger or smaller, but in fact the underlying coordinate coordinate system remains at that basically 480 by 360 uh, dimensions. All right. Well, the other thing then that we should that you probably discovered is there's this weird thing with direction that's going on, right? We we talked about it here with turn 45. I mean, clearly there's there's a directional system in here, uh, and it's some for some of you it may have been confusing at first. When you play with this uh, point in direction, you may notice that that point in direction when I point in direction 90, that's to the right. And in fact, if you if you try different numbers in here, try 45. Right, you'll see that, okay, that's some kind of an angle. Well, what does that represent? Well, you may notice there's a drop-down arrow here, and I can click on that drop-down arrow and see a little bit about what's going on here. The coordinate system in Scratch is loosely related to a compass-based coordinate system. Those of you who are familiar with a compass-based system know that we talk about north straight up having a bearing of zero degrees, and as we rotate to the east, to the right, from north, we get larger and larger numbers. And so we go from north down to straight east is 90 degrees, and straight uh, south is 180 degrees. So over here, when I said move in direction you know, 45, well, 45 is halfway between north and east. And so I'm pointing straight up in this direction. What's a little bit different about the coordinate system in, in uh, Scratch is that you can, in, due west can be 270 degrees, but the way that, that Scratch also likes to think about it is they think about positive numbers being rotating to the east, to the right, and so positive 90 is to the east. West can be represented as 270, but they prefer west, left, as being negative 90, right? So if I click on negative 90, you'll see that he's pointing to the, to the left, to the west, right? And again, I could put in, uh, let me just do this. If I put in 90, he points back to the right. Scratch will allow me to do 270 and, and point to the west, 
but they would prefer you use the negative numbers. Uh, you can use whatever you want with students, whatever makes the most sense. But that's this idea then of the absolute system. If I want to point in a particular direction, if I want to go, uh, if I wanted to reproduce this, for example, I could say go to uh, 150, boy, I keep missing my fingers. I can go to 150, zero. That's where I sort of jumped over here. Then I might point in direction uh, 45. That's pointing up. That's really this rotation that I did here. But now I'm doing it absolute. So it doesn't matter what direction I was pointing to begin with. Um, I'm going to go to that location. And then I can use absolute movement to jump up to the upper uh, right-hand corner. So something along the lines of 200 and 150 maybe. Not the same coordinates as I had before, but, but you can see him jump up to, to that location. Okay. And so that's the idea of absolute movement.